Let's group some items together and learn about tags. 121 Minecraft modding courses available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we're back and telling once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about custom tags and what those are. Now, these are not name tags. No, no, no. These are tags that we've previously seen, and that was going to be, well, what well, that was when we added the mineable tag and the needs X tool tag over here. And now we're actually going to make a custom tag, and that custom tag is going to allow us to do some, you know, better mod compatibility between your mod and possibly other mods. Because what we'll do is in our custom block class, so when we added the magic block, what we did is we said, well, if the item that we're throwing onto this, right, is a raw bismuth, then we're going to turn that into a diamond. But now I actually want to say, well, wait a second. What if I'm going to say the the actual item we're throwing onto the block, if that is part of a particular tag, then I want to change that into a diamond. The positive qualities that we get from that is we can easily expand this. Secondly, we could expand this to include items of other mods that don't exist just yet because, well, we don't have those mods loaded into our project, but we could add them optionally. And thirdly, other mods could then also add their own items to that particular tag and it would work without any issues. So those are, in my opinion, pretty major like positives. So let's take a look. There are two places, so to speak, where we need to define our tag. If we want to use our tag inside of the code, which of course we want to, right? We want to sort of replace this if statement with, well, evaluating our custom tag, then we need to make a class. Otherwise, it would also work only making a JSON file, but obviously then it's not really being used anywhere. We're going to start with the code. So in our tutorial mode package, I'm going to right click new package called util. That's just always the package where I put my tags in. And then in the util package, a new Java class called the mod tags class. Instead of here, we want two static classes. It's going to be a public static class over here. And that's going to be the blocks class. And then another one, and that's going to be a public static class called items. Start with the items, very straightforward, a helper method, a private static and that's going to be a tag key from NetMinecraft tags over here of type item. This is going to be the create a tag method with a string name parameter. And here we're simply going to return item tags dot create passing in resource location that from namespace and path tutorial mod dot mod ID and then the name parameter. And there we go. That's the helper method done. And the same thing, literally just copy it over to the blocks over here, change this to the block, making sure we choose net Minecraft world level block here as a class, very important. And then here, this is now the block tags dot create. And that's literally both classes done. As always, of course, all of the code is also available down below in the GitHub repository. So you can double check that there as well. But for the time being, we now want to add an item tag. And that item tag is going to be a public static final tag key of type item. It's going to be the transformable underscore items equal to the create tag method. And then this is the same name, transformable underscore items. And that's it. That's basically the tag defined. Now do note that the tag doesn't exist yet because we still have to create it in our data folder. But let's first of all, jump back to the magic block and actually change this, right? So we see right now we have this as our if statement, right? So if the item that we're getting there or that is thrown onto it is a raw bismuth, then we're going to turn it into a diamond. Now what I want to do is is valid item and then passing in the item entity that get item. Now, of course, this method doesn't exist because we haven't created it, but that is a way that you can program, right? You just write, okay, there's going to be our new, you know, our new method. We then hover over this and create that method. And you can see it immediately is a Boolean and has our item stack as a parameter. And here we're not going to return false. We actually want to return the following. We're going to take the item. So this is the item stack dot is and then mod tags dot items dot transformable items, meaning we're going to return a true if the item stack that we found to be thrown onto the block is part of this transformable items tag. That's it. And that is going to be a true. And then those are going to all be turned into diamonds. As for the contents of the tag, well, let's go to our data folder tutorial mod. And then here we want to make a new directory called tags instead of there another new directory called item. Very important. And then the 
and then the JSON file has to be named exactly like this. So I'm actually going to simply copy the name over, making sure to have the correct name over here, transformable underscore items dot JSON. And then the contents of this, I will actually copy over as well. Once again, those are available to you and see those are values over here. We got bismuth, raw bismuth, and I've also added, you know, coal, a stick, a compass, just to basically see that, well, this is going to be a little bit of a different change over here. With this done, now all of these different items over here can be changed to a diamond when thrown onto a magic block. And that's, I mean, basically how easy it is, right? So in terms of tags in and of themselves, I've previously said, you know, they're basically just collections that have similar functionality or they're somehow grouped together. And the really cool thing about them is that when you have this, you can expand on them very easily by literally just making a new JSON file. And the cool thing is other mods in theory could also add to your own tag, which is one of the reasons why it's so freaking cool. But yeah, with that done, I mean, that's literally everything we need to do. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, I'm back in Minecraft and I've taken all of the items that we can, well, that we've added to the tag and we can see bismuth. Well, if I hit, there we go, turns into a diamond. Raw bismuth still turns into a diamond and now coal sticks and compasses will also turn into diamonds. Does that make sense? Absolutely not, but it is magic. So you know what? Uh, we're just going to take it and you can see that all works exactly like we would expect it to. But of course, you could say, well, wait a second. Maybe you just made it so that everything turns into a diamond. No. Redstone does not turn into a diamond. Coal ore, right, is that does not turn into a diamond. Once again, if I can actually hit this, but compasses and sticks and coal and all of that is, and the diamonds also turn into diamonds. Well, not really because they're just they're just diamonds already. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That is custom tags added to Minecraft. Pretty awesome. It's fine if it's not 100% clear on what the, you know, real advantages to the tags are, but definitely as an introduction, I think this is a pretty good idea. Once again, as always, all of the code is available down below. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, oh, we'll do data gen. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.